Hello and welcome everybody. It's your boy King Demps here. And um, this is just going to be a quick video uh, because this is like not a big piece of news or anything in the Counter-Strike world. This is just something I've seen on Twitter literally just now. And it is an AWP tier list. As you can see, we've got a lot of AWPers from the history of CSGO. And this kit tier list was actually produced by Kenny S in an interview with Nell of 1FVP. I forget exactly what the website's called. Um, but I will pop a link down in the description to the tweet chain or whatever. Um, Shouts to both of them, obviously, for putting this together. Um, both heavily involved in the scene and both, you know, one as a journalist and one as a player have done some good work in the scene. I want to get my credit out nice and early and preface this, right? Because I think this tier list is dog shit. I think it is fucking terrible. I think there are some like atrocious placements on here. Some like not just just not justifiable placements on here. And we're going to go through this tier list now. Right. I think the best way to do this is from top to bottom. So that's how we'll do. And this shouldn't take too long. I, I just I just had to. I had to. This there, there was some like placements on here that make you go like. Oh. Huh? Like, and from Kenny S, one of the best AWPers of all time. Right. God tier. I probably wouldn't put Fallen in God tier. Fallen has been very, 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 very good. He's been a very, very good player at different points and a very good AWPer. I think the opinion of Fallen is pretty much always inflated because he was an in-game leader, because he was so synonymous with bringing the Brazilian scene up, that I think Fallen almost inevitably always gets overrated for his actual playing ability. When Fallen was at his peak, he played this, like, mega mobile style. I always think of Fallen on the orb of him, like, overpass, being up in bathrooms, you know, up in mid, taking aggressive peaks, jumping all over the place, being very mobile, and then train him, like, bouncing off of those ladders like a fucking toddler on Adderall. That is what I think of Fallen as at his prime. And yes, he was good. I would put him in tier one at his absolute peak. I don't think Fallen at his peak could measure up to the likes of Guardian, Kenny S and Simple. Or, for that matter, Zewu and Shiro. But we'll move on to that. So, this god tier, I, I, I probably just get rid of uh, Fallen. I probably bump him down to tier one. That's my only real issue. Uh, uh, Guardian, Kenny S and Simple, I agree, at their primes have all been some of the best AWPers in the game. And those three would probably make my top five AWPers of all time. Now, going down, tier Device. I'm actually going to defend this placement. This looks harsh because of the body of work that Device has built up over the years. And the fact he's consistently been one of the best players in the world, yada yada. I think you can argue that at his absolute peak, he is not as able to take over and dominate a game single-handedly as players like Guardian, Kenny S, Simple. That is my opinion. I think you can justify putting Device in the God tier simply because he has been so consistent, so good. And he has been in the sort of top five players in the world like multiple years over his career. There's a crazy stretch where he was like, you know, top five HLTV like every single year. But if you're going by the rules of this tier list when they put it together, so this was AWPers at their peak, then I can understand why you would put Device in tier 1. J Double in tier 1, I'm okay with. If you didn't watch the early days of CSGO, particularly pre orf NERP, like, J W was an absolute fucking nightmare. This dude would do the dumbest shit you've ever seen with the AWP and make it work. Like... He would just run out mid doors on dust two and run into lower like no smokes, no flashes, no utility, no reason to do it. Like he hasn't got some info. He just would do it. He would just run, run around with the orb, use it like a shotgun. I would actually use weird shotguns as well. It, it, JW used to be the kind of guy who'd buy a sword off when it was like not viable, never has been viable, never will be viable. I'm, I'm okay with this placement. I wouldn't put Pasha up here in tier one. I think Pasha is a tier 2 peak AWPer. I think Pasha was always a bit limited as an AWPer. And I just think if you look at all the other AWPers in these top two tiers, I don't I don't think he can measure up to any of them, really. So, yeah, not a fan of the Pasha placement. Shiro and Zewu, I would both put in God tier. I would bump Fallen down. I would bump the... Uh, not, not Brokey. Brokey can stay in tier 1, although, you know. But Shiro and Zewu, I think at their absolute peaks are... 
just phenomenal players. I think at their absolute peak, Shiro and Ziwu have simple like numbers and impact. So if you're going to put simple in God tier and you're talking about peak, i.e. if the Orpa played their absolute best game, then I think Shiro and Ziwu go up there. And I think that might be the problem with this tier list is it was listed as Orpas at their peak, but I think some of these are not really accounting for that. If I'm honest, I don't think they're accounting for the Orpa's peak performances. So yeah, that's tier one and god tier done. I would bump fallen down, these two up. In general, not too bad. I think down here is where it starts getting, yeah, a little bit shaky. So Cirque tier two, yeah, okay. I, I've always thought Cirque was like super flashy, super fast, looks better of an Orpa than he is, but I'm okay with the tier two placement. Fox, no way. No way has Fox ever been... Fox's peak is nowhere near, like, James' peak or Monacy's peak or Searson's peak. Absolutely fucking not. Fox, get him the fuck out of here. No way. Does not deserve to be that high up. Same with Mo. No way. Mo's peak... I've seen him play one game where I thought, like, that might justify this placement. So, okay. Okay, maybe, because I've seen one game in his in his career where I was like, yes, th this is the, uh, an Orpa who could be, like, on the same tier as, like, a Searson or, you know, a Jame. No. No. On the Mo front. Monacy, fine, whatever. You can put him there. We haven't seen enough of him yet in Tier 1 to say. But I, I suspect his peak is higher than a lot of the players here, but whatever. I, I, I think James' peak is probably a bit higher than Tier 2, but I'm okay with his placement there. Um, Searson, yeah, fine. I think you make an argument tier one, tier two, based on, again, the other Orpers in the different tiers. So I'm okay with it, but you could probably bump him up. Same with Jane. These two are the guys you probably could argue bumping up the tier. This is by far the most egregious and the worst placement on this list, right? A lot of you aren't going to know who this player is because Smith's retired like 20. 16 or something i want to say or at least was not relevant at tier one anymore by like 2016 so it's been a long time since smith's has been like you know a relevant player in the game dog shit fucking terrible orpa absolute poo poo caca i can't like emphasize how bad of an actual orpa this guy was his only skill set as an orpa was you post him on an angle and he holds that angle and he'll probably miss a lot of the time he used to get fucking called a support orpa like i'm just gonna leave that with you that's all you need to know go and look at smith's stats on hltv how the fuck you can say smith's peak is as high as Sears? like no absolutely not he should be down here in the shitter tier list Skadoodle's a hard one. I think Skadoodle's peak was so fucking early in CSGO and actually most of his work in CSGO you can probably compare to a lot of the people that got put in tier 3. I'm going to say this is too high and Scar should probably go down. So about half of this I think is wrong. Over He's overrated Fox massively, overrated Mo, overrated Smith ginormously and probably overrated Scar. So about half of that tier I don't agree with. Okay, tier three. Kadian, yes, fine. Chris J, yes, fine. Yes, like most of this tier list. Oh, fuck. I'm blanking on uh, the name. Shit. Gratisfaction. There you go. Got there in the end. I think this is harsh on Henny. I think Henny should be up in tier two. I think KNG should also be up in tier two at least. I think even Henny, you can argue his peak is maybe pretty fucking high. Like Brokey JW device, could I compare Henny's peak to those? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe tier two. But I think these two should probably be bumped up. Makaleli, fine. Mantu might be a smidge harsh, but to be honest, Mantu's peaks pretty much always come in unimportant games and always come against not the best opposition. So I can see this is definitely harsh on Poison. Poison, Poison tier two peak. He's got peaks comparable to like Searson and, and Cirque if you want to put like make comparisons between the players. So Poison should definitely be up there. I personally think Smooth should be up there, but I'm happy to say I'm biased, whatever. That's fine. Torzy, we haven't seen enough of yet. I don't think we've even seen enough of Torzy and Monacy to probably include them on this tier list. So whatever. Uh, Woxic underrated as well, should be up in, so about half of these should be down here, or in fucking Smith's case, he should be like, he should have his own tier, the poopy caca tier, but like Woxic, I would push up, Smoothie or I push up, Poison I'd push up, KNG and Henny I'd push up, Um, and then, you know, 
so about half of these two tiers I'd swap around. And the final tier, this is this is overrated tier. I don't like overrated as a tier because I think like there's loads of players you could put in there. For example, somebody who everyone says is got I could put Fallen in there. Because Fallen is always made out to be this absolute god tier orpa. I don't think Fallen is quite on the level of the absolute elites that we've had in this game. Personal opinion. Like, I think you can argue it for sure. Don't get me wrong. I don't think this is like... But I, in my tier list, could put Fallen in the overrated category. But I don't think that's the point of the overrated category, looking at the orpas in here. So, rather than this being overrated, I'm just going to put this as tier 4. I'm going to put this category, my perception of it, as probably wasn't good enough to orp in tier 1 Counter-Strike. And... Draken, fair, so weirdly inconsistent, such a weird, like, array of shots he'd miss and hit. Yugi, crap, so overrated, had, like, the smallest good stint, I think, on Heroic, and then basically dined out off on that for, like, two years. JDM, yeah, not great, serviceable, but, like, so limited in his skill set as an AWPer, and he could not do anything except AWP, and he could only do that, like, okay, so, yeah. But NA was really starved for AWPers around the time JDM was playing. So, uh, And then Twist. Yeah, Twist, I think in terms of actual skill ceiling, was probably like reasonably high. But just never did it on NIP. Never, never did it. Always seemed to underperform. I think struggled with like the pressure, with the stress, with not playing with his mates. So, yeah, this is fucking egregious, man. Alu on the same tier as Draken and Yugi and JDM and Twist. Alu below Michael Ailey and below Kadian and Chris J as like just a pure orper. Fuck off, man. No way. Absolutely no way. I'm not having that in a thousand fucking years. No. Just no. Alu's body of work. Alu in his time, like for example, on Nip. Alu at various different points in his career, like peaks on phase, even peaks during his time on ends. No way. Absolutely no way. Okay, if this tier was like actually an overrated tier i.e these have all been overrated by the community fine i've never seen jdm rated that highly i've never seen yugi rated that highly twist yeah has had some hype and fanfare draken okay probably at times people have said like ah, you know he's good he's all right no no this is so unfair on alu alu's up here i think in tier two i could i could even have the argument for tier three but no he doesn't deserve to be down here absolutely no fucking way man no fucking way i hope you enjoyed that quick one guys um remember this is all opinions so no one's objectively right or wrong except on smiths i'm sorry this one objectively smiths was shit i'm sorry I don't want to shit on a guy who is probably Kenny S's friend or or Kenny S, you know, knows and is acquainted with or whatever. But Smith was awful. And this one is objectively wrong. This one is wrong. If there's one placement on this whole list that is 100% objectively wrong, not even the Alu one, it's this one. Smith's was so bad. So bad. So bad that people tried to justify him orping on teams by calling him a support orper. I don't need to go any further. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And if you did not like it, you're probably French.